Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Full Armor Striker Custom. I uh, have not uh, run this in a while. Only ran it a few times before that, trying to get a good round with it. I don't remember if it's been buffed recently or not. I don't believe so, but I could be wrong. Regardless, it does fairly well here. It still has the old Full Armor missiles, I'm pretty sure. But it also has its own missile rack, which is pretty decent. And it has... Uh, I forget whether it has two or three melee weapons. At least two. I think it has three. I think it has the katana, the double-bladed beam sword, and the uh, beam knuckles. So it's, you know, the striker custom under its armor is still set up for melee, but this is a little bit more general use in, uh, in well, general. And I missed my swing with... Uh, uh, yep, it does have three melee weapons still. Uh, I missed my swing on that uh, Gaz L that was coming in. But that's okay, except for the Kapool that I didn't notice either. That was bad. And it's doing pretty good damage to me, but uh, let's see. And I'm going to use Demon Blade so I have more mobility and boost and just go right after that Gaz L, which, you know, perfect timing. Ally managed to stun it, and... Got it with the overhead swing, and that's good. And here is a uh, gym that seems to be in the colors, or a powered gym that seems to be in the colors of the powered gym cardigan. I decided rather than face that down, I'd go chasing. Uh, forget whether it's, I oh, forget what kind of mobile suit it is, but I kind of wanted to just get it out of the way, especially because I figured it was going to try and take a point if I didn't. And also, it's nearly dead. And it ran off with, uh, without me, which, you know, I would do if I could fly away from someone trying to kill me, too. Uh, let's see, there's the uh, powered gym once again. Didn't quite get it with the tackle. Did get it with, no, didn't get it with the follow-up either. And I got killed by, okay, somebody got the powered gym at least. I got killed by the gym sniper, too, that was behind me. So, yeah, it didn't work out. Probably should have either kept chasing whatever that was or just stayed with the group, but... I didn't either, and I'm dead. But we have a 2,000-point lead. That's a good start. There's about five and a half minutes left of the round. We will see how far we can get here. But yeah, I uh, haven't run this in a while, but I do like it, and it was nice to uh, pull it out again. And yeah, I will... Uh, I will uh, hopefully, you know, get a chance to use it in the future. But for now, this, you know, this works. I'm um, just kind of looking to try and figure out where the enemy team is. I think the answer probably is they're dead and they're about to drop in over on my head. At least one of them is. The rest, I don't know. They might be off towards their base. They might uh, not be spawned in. Okay, they're off towards their base. There we go. Anyway, mystery solved. Now I just you know, look for the right angle to attack from and uh, try not to stun my allies doing it. I think that's a Gazome that we keep seeing flitting around. Hit two things with the uh, cannon. That's always nice. Threw the missiles at that. Managed to hit most of them. Managed to stun the thing that flew in in front of it. And let's see. Did not hit that, but it is hittable now, so I can throw some more attacks out. I'm not sure if the uh, I'm not sure if the full armor striker customs uh, double beam gun stuns on each hit, or if. Uh, that had already soaked up some build stun. Regardless, um, uh, regardless, I'm knocked over. But no, regardless, it, it did uh, stun, so that's good. And, okay, that person, that powered gym is dead. Um, that, gaz or that gazelle is now dead. Whoever's in the water will be dead before I can get to them. And that is pretty much, okay, no, there's two more over there, but we have the tools to deal with that. I have quite a few of them, in fact, myself. That was a little bit of lag, but it worked. And I think uh, the uh, person closer to the front there uh, is the one who got the other one. So we should be good to go. We Right now we are at 7850 to 2075. Um, but we're all low on health, so pro or at least 60% mm, of us are low on health. So we'll probably be experiencing a team wipe very soon. I'm going to uh, you know, do what I can, dole out the damage where I can, and then hopefully have the sense to pull back before I get totally murdered. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to meet this Gaz in single combat. It managed to boost back in time to not get stunned. Uh, I don't know whether... I think the first uh, hit stunned that, but 
I don't think I'm going to chase it though, because yeah, I'd have once yeah once uh, most of the rest of the team turns, or uh, once the rest of my team got killed, I kind of expected they would all turn immediately. And yep, I'm just going to demon blade and try and survive another second because it's got the double dodge roll going on. And I got a couple of hits, but I have a feeling I'll die before I can. Yep, before I can kill the gas. So yeah, now they're going to catch up pretty well because yeah, they've they've managed to. Uh, land a team wipe, which is kind of the problem with, you know, winning the first exchange and then having a lot of people low on health, which is you lose the second exchange. So, it happens. Uh, somebody is uh, throwing support fire at uh, the enemies near the base, which if they all decide to follow number five towards uh, uh, the bay, uh, towards the bomb, that could work very, very well for us. Whether or not it does is another question, but it could. With two minutes left, we've got a 3,000-point lead. Um, I would think focusing the, t the enemy team down would be better than base bombing, but if we all move in to back up number five, it's it's kind of the best of both worlds, I suppose. But yeah, I've, I think I've said it before, I feel like base bombing works best when you can keep the team busy, whether that's at their base or away from it. Just... Yeah, they, they, they need to have bigger things to worry about than that bomb, basically, is, for, is how that uh, should work. But can't always work out that way, but when it does, it's not bad. And luckily, they're not really paying a lot of attention to me yet, so I'm able to just, you know, uh, snag some kills from a distance, which, you know, again, Full Armor Striker is set up to do. Stopped the uh, Jim Custom, or Jim Powered Jim. Oh, the brain is not here today. And I'm amazed that actually hit. That was another delayed kill, but it was a kill. Yeah, number five. Um, yeah, number number five did get killed down in the base, so they are were not able to plant the bomb. That's all right. We still have an edge. There's three of us alive, though, and if the other the rest of the enemy team can spawn back in right on top of us, that could be bad. Big katana swing, though. That worked out very well. I'm going to start just planting stuns and hopefully being able to retreat. Managed to uh, tank through that the shot that uh, I think it was a standard Gazome was trying to uh, get on me uh, by using Demon Blade activation. And, yep, now I'm just going to, again, just now we keep the pressure on. Because if we, you know, since at least one person's deciding to stay in there and fight, if, if we all run, that could just cause a cascading failure, which we don't want at this phase. So, yeah, we keep fighting. Good 3,000 on the uh, counter, 3,000 on the downswing. And I'm not going to have time to kill this Kapool, but I am going to have time to not be killed by it, which is what we need to win. Didn't stun it again, though. I guess those have... I keep forgetting those must have some kind of blast protection. Always forget that. But either way, that is uh, the round. We won it. And I think I did fairly well. Let's take a look. I know I good, did good damage. Um, well, I got out damaged by the Isaac. Nothing wrong with that. 3,300 points and a 25% diversion. Also not bad. 6 and 2, 88k. So, yeah, I'll take that. But that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I'm trying to remember if we have a full armor raid yet. We have plenty of full armor generals and full armor supports, but I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I'd like to see some kind of full armor that is also a raid. It would be fun.